A new law is cracking down on drive-by shooters. Yeah, state capitol reporter Chelsea Bimefor now explains what this means for criminals who pull the trigger. What is certainly a big step in the right direction. As of July 1st, drive-by shootings now carry larger penalties in Tennessee. <coughs> The new law says that if it meets these conditions for the drive-by, with the weapon being fired from inside a car and uh, hitting someone, that it would be one classification higher. So all of these felonies are going to be prosecuted and, uh, and sentenced uh, on one classification higher. G.A. Hardaway, state lawmaker from Memphis, says he supported this type of legislation for years after seeing innocent people die in his district. Young man was opening his Christmas presents, and uh, there was a random bullet that came through the uh, the door, through the, the door, the wall of the house, and killed him. Christmas morning opening Christmas presents, minding his own business. You have to hold uh, criminals, especially those who are convicted, um, accountable for their actions. Captain Scott Moore with the Wilson County Sheriff's Office says gun violence and drive-bys are an increasing problem, and the motive varies by case. You see road rage all the time. You see um, drug deals, gang affiliations, uh, things like that that uh, sparks these drive-bys. But Moore says this new law could help curb some of the violence by landing offenders behind bars longer and slapping them with heftier fines. It's any time that you commit a violent crime or an offense against someone uh, or a group or organization or anything like that, when you use or display a deadly weapon, then there needs to be uh, stiff penalties. Reporting in Nashville, I'm Chelsea Bimefor. The bill passed the House and Senate unanimously and was signed into law by Governor Lee.